guest room. These are just some boards I put up here for design for the guest bed. But I'm about to change the guest room to cage nursery. This is a closet. I'm already start buying some damn clothes. But for the most part, y'all, about to transform this room from the guest to a nursery. Well, y'all, about to take this guest bed out of here right now. And I bought some mattress covers from Amazon. And it's supposed to protect your mattress from pets, dust, allergies, liquids, uh, pretty much everything that could get in there. It's not supposed to get in it. So I'm about to put the mattress covers on. So I got the bed broken down now. Uh, I'm about to put all this in the garage, but I'm about to take start taking down this pound. So I just got all the paneling off of the wall. I'm trying to debate if I want to run the boards vertical or horizontal. Put the second board on, but first, I have to cut out these outlets real quick. So that's what I'm doing now. Got that trimmed now. I just have to trim out that side there. I just, I'm just gonna put a border around the entire edge. Right now I'm about to get started on painting, but I'm gonna put a border around the edges of it. So I use regular coated sinker nails. It seems to hold it up pretty good. And not only that, the nails kind of blend in with this crazy wood pattern. Like here's a nail, here's my next nail. Yeah. Once you back up, you can't really see it. But these are my seams. I don't think they're too bad. I took some putty and putted the middle of it and then lightly sanded it. This is where they meet, where all four pallet meet in the middle. I don't think it came out too bad. And that's the seam. And this was, I guess, just a foam jack. And that's the other plug. But overall, I think uh, I think it came out pretty well. I'm happy with it. So all I'm doing now is really just trying to flatten it out as much as I can. And what I'm using, y'all, is just some lightweight um, compound, some but pro form, professional formula. And it's basically just a compound filler, just to fill in. As you can see, I filled in all these holes where the old pictures was. Uh, that's where the old TV was. And that's pretty much it. Now, I'm about to start painting. I went ahead and started painting the sidewall and then I got a little bit on the ceiling as I was rolling. And then I realized how much of a difference the little, I don't know, vanilla looking color ceiling and a actual white ceiling. So I went ahead and continued it all the way through. All right, y'all, so now what I'm doing, I'm just really touching up the edges. Um, 
I found some gray paint, uh, some interior satin paint in the garage. So all I'm doing is taking a rack and I'm going down the seams uh, where it meets. What's up y'all back on the channel today. Um, yesterday was a success. We got the crib, we got the dresser, the matching dresser that went with the crib. Today I'm about to paint this wall and we was gonna paint it black, but I'm gonna go and paint it white to just go with the rest of the room. These from Hobby Lobby, I think those were $9 a piece. We just put those up. Um, guys, these, this is the crib yesterday that we went and got. It is a kudos. We went and got a mattress, brand new mattress and comforter. And we got a little teddy bag for them. A little blanket area. We're most likely gonna use that for laundry. And these are the curtains that we got from Target. And it's like almost like a burlap material. And it's to match the rug and the little hamper over there. And this is a dresser that came with the crib. It didn't come with, we had to pay for it. So do not get that mixed up. And this is Kate's baby picture. Little pumpkin. But this is the room, guys. Um, I'm happy with it. It was the guest room. So pretty much guests, I don't know where they're pretty much gonna be sleeping now because this is now Kate's room. So tell me what you guys think. Oh, this is the closet. If you have not seen it, this is just pretty much the clothes we didn't bought so far. <coughs> We didn't want to go crazy with clothes because a lot of people said do not like don't go crazy and buying a bunch of stuff because we still have not had our baby shower. These are my old jerseys. I uh, just took it off. Oh, sorry. Them are my old baseball jerseys when I was in Little League. And people said don't go crazy buying clothes because you're going to get a lot of that at the baby shower. So we... Still bought some stuff. We just didn't go crazy. But um, if you guys like the room, tell me what you think. Like, comment this video. Give me some new ideas to put in this room. But we're definitely going to put some greenery. Most likely in this area or that area. <laughs> trim pieces and I took my nail gun and then I just kind of seamed it all the way up and I'm about to measure out that top part and the other part on the other side and then I'm gonna take it across and this wall should be done So we're pretty much done with this side of the room and pretty much done. But if you like this video, hit a like, subscribe to this channel. Um, I haven't been posting as much. I've been super busy with work and being out of town, but I'm definitely going to start posting more and get on that. But this is Dante Does It and I'm out.